Do you know anyone that services those? What? Do you know anyone that services those? We do service. You do service? Yeah, service, repairs, yeah. We don't go to the Cape. <laughs> Actually, you know what? My father lives in the Cape. We're in the Cape. Listen, over the summer, if you want, I'll come fix it. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm getting, and listen, guys, just for, for the record, the, for a long time, I was a Santa Fe classic, the classic, the granddaddy of them all. Still love it. Took me a long time to buy into it. The Santa Fe Advance 2, it's now the, actually Santa Fe just changed the names of all their machines. So it's now the Advance 90. This machine is a workhorse. It's, it'll pull almost as much water as that classic. It's much more compact and it's about $350 less in what, just one set. And what you're gonna find is this machine has dual on both sides. It's a dual output. So you here, the only thing you're giving up here is a MERV 11 versus a MERV 13. Both of them great filtration systems. I like this because you know, we put splitters and ductwork and stuff here. But this, you know, if you have it, especially like when half is finished, half is unfinished, we'll actually let that blow right into the unfinished side and then we'll attach it back on the same side. It's the same thing. Great machine. These advanced tools are in the 90s now. Oh, I think they're just, it took me a long time. I can show you it was telling me. The 90s are the 90s. Great machines. My, my, on my compact too, the, uh, where my hose yeah. lived in, it cracked and broke a couple years ago. The plastic piece? Yeah, they the sent me a new pan. I have to take the whole fucking thing apart. They sent me a new pan, but it worked again. Okay. So I don't know if you've ever seen that, but the actual the the nozzle, nozzle, the threaded plastic yeah. piece that the hose goes Yeah, yeah, yeah. That cracked. Yeah, yeah. I have seen that before. Yeah. Yeah. I would I would have called you guys to fix it. I had to take a part of my giant. Yeah. I've like, seen oh, just about every. I've been fixing these machines for years. Okay. I've seen just about everything there is. It, the one thing about Santa Fe is that they are really good. You know, whenever we have a problem, they pass the service charge to go out and do the fix. They send us the parts, and they're, they're really good. Even for a customer, you know, you buy one yourself and. You know, what are they the Santa Fe, the advanced tools, yep. again, how far do I gotta go? Um, typically, I'm charging two grand for that, it's all. Without a condensate pump, I charge another 75 for a pump line. And the advanced tools, 1700. So, um, you know, it's a cheap, it's, it, the, the machine is less money, but, so it's, I know it's only 300 even though it's a full, you know, I, but I, in my service charge, equates to, that's what it is. The 17 on the advanced tools, the two grand for that, with all the pump. Is there a difference in the noise of those two? No, I'm not really going to find much of it right now. I think the decibel level is like two decibel, one decibel difference. Just to kind of add on to this, open question, what is the typical service in the thing? So, what do you do? As far as service goes, yeah, so I mean, listen, you're changing, you're changing the filter, honestly. You're changing the filter on it. I mean, your, your service, you come out the mm -hmm. service. Yeah. That's about it. That's about it. You know, I mean, you can pull the machine open. If that change, if that filter gets changed once a year, you know, we do. You know, the old machines needed to be oiled and stuff. The new ones, they're so maintenance three. If you change the filter once a year, you shouldn't really need because that machine after ten years, you can do a white glove test. You know, see what a lot of people don't understand is when they design these machines, they put. Um, where am I here? They put this filtration system on here. So whatever there's an intake with the Santa Fe, is there any high end filtration system here? This is where the air comes in. Filtration system here, you know, an 18 by 24 filter. That's where the air drills. They did that to keep the inside of that machine clean. The byproduct is, oh, people are getting our filter and the, the air down to, you know, under two microns in size. It's great, but they didn't do it for clean air. They did it to keep the inside of the machine clean. So the inside machine stays clean. Those sensors and the wiring and all those, you know, touchy electrical components will continue to run rather than a Home Depot, you know, three hundred dollar dehumidifier every two years. You know, people think they're running great, but I'm telling you, these things they turn on most basements. You know, they they, they run on that. They have their own built-in hygrometer. They're going to run on a ten degree humidity control sensor differential. So meaning, I set it to fifty. It'll let it get up to fifty five. It'll kick on. It'll bring it down to forty five, and it will shut off. Give or take a degree or two. So I mean, they're not running and running and chasing all the time. They they, they kick on and then they dormant as that comes back up. So 
You know, people save a lot of money on that one. How many so square feet will the advanced two do? About 2,500. They say 22, but on a wide open, I'll go 25. Yeah. And the other one, you know, the, the compact, it's a little bit different machine, but I mean, on an open basement, you know, I think 1,800 to 2,000 it calls for. So there's not a whole lot of difference, you know, on the water draw. Yeah, the compacts, listen, the one thing with the compacts, I mean, they're nice, but the, uh, the advanced too for the money is not much more, and it's a much better machine. We do put the compacts in, but I mean, they're small, small machines. And you always want to put, you know, that humidity, if you want a real humidity, you know, reading, you want to be on the floor. That hydrometer goes on the floor. And I can't tell you how many times I go into a house you know, they're gravity training, so I know what they're doing, but they have the humidifier up here. All the humidity's at the floor because it's those swollen molecules. So, you know, without, you know, it's working overtime if it's working at all. You know, they're trying to gravity train. I don't know what they're doing, but you want a real, um, a real reading that's at the floor, you know? So I like being down at the floor anyways. I was never a big fan of mounting them up, you know, unless you're trying to stay out of water. Yeah. Do you usually install these in every job? Santa Fe's? No. We have a lot of people, they just want a Santa Fe. Yeah. And we have a lot of people, you know, oh, some okay. people. So the basement might not be too wet. You have a Santa Fe in the exactly. room. Exactly. Yeah. Well, I'd say maybe one in, you know, maybe one in five customers would buy a dehumidifier at some point. Yeah. You know, it's not always, you know, it, I, I'm not a pushy sales guy either. I'm not going to sit here and try to tell you, uh, you need to buy the $1,700 machine on top of the 12 grand. Yeah, it's something I'll talk about, but you know, not you know, it's not no basement will hurt any basement to have anything like that. Yeah. You know, I'm not pushy with the meat, I'm just throwing them out there because a lot of times you guys are going into basements and they're you know, just just damn just high out the humidity, that's all. You know, it's amazing what these things will do just on fieldstone that gets wet, you know, pulls the moisture out of the building content, you know. But uh nah, I didn't come here so soon. A couple other things to do, you know, window walls, we do a lot of lolly columns, you know, two by two by one footings, you know, or eight and a half four inches. Did you replace the alley columns? What's that? You replace the alley yeah, columns? Yeah. They're rotted, okay. Yeah. A lot of them. Now, your footing is what looks like it's maybe 30, depends on the tail, 30 by 30, 12 inches deep. Yeah, 24 by 24. 24, okay. One foot deep. Yeah. Steel plates. You know, spring still so you and you got to pull up the lift for the still. Yeah, and for replacing. Yeah. Okay. Adding, you know. You know, again, you know, this is this is an older pilot point, my second there, you know, this is kind of, I, I kind of got away from crop repairs just because I can only wear so many hats, but you know what I like to do anytime I get a drain system here, I'd much rather seal that with polyurethane and put, I mean, uh, polyethylene and seal the edges for right in a drain system, you know. It's just a different approach than, than a crack repair, you know. And here I just was showing, you know, because I'm, I'm sure you guys have seen it all, you know. But, you know, here's, here's uh, some of what the other guys are putting in. You know, you got a two and three quarter inch drain system here. You know, you got three inches here. This is meant to go on top of the foot. You know, how you doing? Just a foot. It looks good in a book and you know, on, on fancy videos, but they go to a two and three quarter inch drain system, it's better than a four inch drain system. Come on, man. <laughs> you can buy I got a fridge for sale. You know, same thing. You know, full switch, click, 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 click. That's two million cycles. Straight up to ten times as many pumps as it's over. You know, again, not a bad pump, but it doesn't even hold a flame for another seventy five bucks. On those, on those um, controller pumps, I often see a hole drilled into the Yeah, a primer hole. What, what, what does that do? A primer hole? It's just to help. Uh, all the, I never put primer holes in them. You know, a primer hole is supposed to help the suction on them. You know, it actually primes it. Because it actually, you see it, some people actually put in a pipe, which, you know, you get you kind of check out, but yeah, it'll actually screw a hole. You know, that's not factory, it'll screw a hole in the bottom 
and it's it's supposed to help the pump suck better, I guess. I I never liked it, you know. I can never see you know, these old pumps are what they are. They're not gonna perform any better any less. They're not a bad pump. You know, if you're looking to save a few bucks, they're not a bad pump. It's just for me it was a no brainer to go with the stainless wrap and then eliminate the full control switch. Because nine out of ten times when the when it goes, it's that switch. You can't play around with a rusted pump and replace the switch. I mean not the new one. You know, it's a hundred and forty dollar pump right there. You know. So but yeah, I just, you know, I trudge all the way, bottom of plenty. Gotta be at the bottom of the plenty. All the way, you know. Does anybody have, uh, you know, uh, questions about, you know what, actually, I, I'm really, I've done my, uh, I've done my, my PowerPoint. So if you want, what, what time is it? 7.49. 7.49, so we have 10 minutes, I'll answer whatever you want. perimeter train. Real quick, I can tell you. The reason that you're hearing French, you had to ask French people. Uh, yeah. Listen, a true French train hasn't been put in about 40 years. The law in Washington is that a French, uh, right, but nothing can be built higher than the Washington Monument. If you look at the layout of the land, it's, they were meant for people to build down into these really wet areas. So they all had water. It's the French. Guy's last name was French. Came in, designed what a French train was. Ceramic tube. You guys seen it? Ceramic tube. Shut up from all of this. It was they get trench just like I do. Bottom of the footing, even back then, and they would just space them. They would put you know two or three foot sections. There would be little spaces in between, and then they would go. It would create a culvert, a void for the water to travel through. Whether it was gravity or self pump bed, same way. After about 20, so it was like the best thing. I mean, they were all over Washington. This guy feeds them up here all over the country. It was the, you know, best thing since sliced bread. And they figured out ceramic couldn't go in the ground. This guy drops it. Boom, 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 boom. And uh, they were underwater in D.C., so they called in the Army Corps engineers. Army Corps engineers came in, designed modern ABS trains. They never needed it. Well, I was like, going around forever. But it was the same concept. But yeah, French train hasn't been put in. If you go call it that, and I get it, I'll let you call it. But it hasn't been put in in 30 or 40 years. Well, yeah, you call it the proper name. Yeah, you can call it. It's a perimeter train. I call it it's a basement perimeter. Yeah, perimeter train, footing train. I call it, but yeah, you know, it depends what day of the week it is. Yeah. All right. <laughs> How far? You know, the footing is left. Yeah. <clears throat> How much pitch? Yeah. Depends how many feet I'm going. You know, I mean, you hear guys say I go two and a half inches on ten feet. That's crazy. By the time you get to your sump, you're gonna be three feet in the ground. Right. You know, one inch on ten feet is plenty. We can look at a sump. You can kind of tell the pitch when it's below. Yeah. Just look at the depth. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, they just kept going down, down, down. I mean, really, water goes downhill. One degree, it's gonna go. I mean, you want a little bit more, but even a half, a half an inch on eight feet, plenty. Now watch, mine. You must no. be digging down below the footing in some areas. No, not not really. No. Because I'll only go about 160 feet on one side. And I push the envelope. So I'm starting at my high point, you know, on the opposite end. And I'm picking up, you know, half of that, 80 feet. So I only have eight inches of, of feet line, you know. If I went one if I went one inch yeah. on, you know, for really, I mean, yeah, you're, half an you're inch. Starting the, the, the infrared or the bottom of the pipe is at the bottom of the foot, and then you push it down. Correct. Right. Yeah, I'm going to stop. So I'm, you know, <clears throat> the majority of my drain system is at the bottom, and everything gets trenched to the bottom, yeah. and then I'm just padding up with stone a little bit just to get to that pitch. Can I get one more question? Yeah. How, how high of a crawl space do you guys get? <laughs> Don't look at the pictures on my website, because my partner actually pushed one in five inches. Typically, we can get in, you know, uh, you know, it depends, you know, if the whole crawl space is one elevation, I gotta have, you know, 18 inches, you know, I mean, my guys don't roll around, at some point or another, you know, it gets crazy. Yeah, some crawl spaces do this, 
you know, they foam it, and, but, and then there's just a little bit where it goes to, you know, which isn't bad. I can work in a foot or 14 inches, but I mean, at some point or another, you think. Oh, yeah. Well, no, are we doing that? Not typically. You know, you're just sealing it. You know, especially that small. You know, you can pull the floor if you want. It's probably easier if you're doing your foot. But I mean, you're just looking for a sale. You're never going to use it. You know, so I mean, to waste your time grading, you just want to sell it. You know. I did one the other day, and I was going to pass on the information, but it's, it's. Yeah, you do that. I just don't do this to you. <laughs> <laughs> when I say we, when I say we, you know, you the guys that work for me are a little bit smaller. So, so the pipes you're putting in that perimeter drain, those yeah. are all perforated with like the water coming in? Yeah. yeah. That four inch, two holes on the bottom. Only the bottom? Yeah. I like the, I like the PVC. You know, corrugated's a good part too. I just, I like the, the holes better than the slit system as far as like longevity, you know? More rigid? Yeah. The ADS. Yeah, the ADS. You know, the corrugated, the black corrugated yeah. slit. Just more long term, I might I think I have more clogging issues with that. You know, it's still better than putting it on top of the foot, but I like the PVC ADS drain. Yeah. What about filter cloth? Don't use it. No, I got so much stone in there. You get clean drink water going through. You know, I don't use it. It's just gonna clog. You know, it's just not clay? necessary. What's inside clay? Now, when you get into clay. It, well, the clay, it's, it's iron ore I'm worried about. Because the clay, I'm going to bury stone. You know, I'll take whatever I need to for clay. It's it's iron ore that really, where you got to say, okay. And what you're doing is, you then go to an open, a more of an open drain system, so you slot it. But as long as I got plenty of flush ports, I can always flush that out. So it's, it's iron that's really concerning for me. But yeah, filter fabric, I've never used. You know, I mean, on exterior systems, we do it. But we now code is they've changed the code. It's a lap over, you know. The filter fabric, it's got an expiration date. I don't care <coughs> how good it is, it's going to clog eventually, you know. You know? How do you know, as soon as you dig a trench, you know that the ground has water in it? Oh, yeah. yeah. Usually before I even, I, I'll see it on the floor. You know, if you see orange on the floor, there's a sign in there. They usually find it around, you know, usually I'll find it somewhere I know right away. How much? I don't know, but as soon as I put that hammer in the ground, I know there's a little bit, or this is bad. Yeah. There's no maintenance they can do to keep the uh, build up? No, I, I, not that I know. It's, it's going to keep coming. It reaches from the ground. Yeah. Now, I've gone into basements that literally there's two, you know, i got to put them up boots down. There's three inches of ground to get it. It slips right away. That's extreme. So with iron, I don't want to, you know, I don't want to, I don't take chances. I just put plenty of flush ports. I can actually keep my holes right down and then get a stay on top of it. Instead of servicing once a year, every 18 months, might be every six months, might be every three. Really? Now, homeowners can do it themselves, yeah. you know. Full do it, you know, the judge for it, but you gotta stay on top of it. Can we go back to the battery backup system? Yeah, sure. Fully charged? How long do they last? It's so it's 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 um it's off the volume. So, you know. You pump once a day, six years. The ratings on it, you know, typically you're talking, you know, a lot of people like a power want failure. in the power failure. Yeah, the power failure. It's it's hot, you know, there's different stuff you have to take into consideration. Yeah. The rise, and so it's hard to give an exact spec. And I'd say you could shoot probably see somewhere around nine thousand gallons. You know. Our one. <laughs> I mean, a lot. You know, it's a lot of water. But I mean, some people are, and we'll go to four batteries. You know, we'll, we'll run another city. Because some people, they're in the water. They never stop pumping, even in the winter. So, but you're going to have that time of, hey, I need to get a generator in here, or I need to stop. You know, you, you can see how much power you have left. But, you know, I just don't want to tell you a time, because there is no time. You know, field stone, months. Yeah. It's a rack slab, you know, so just a little thing of concrete, you know. I mean, they can. You still trench that? Oh, yeah, absolutely. I mean, yeah. how far away from the foundation? Right on it. Right on it. Nope. Yeah, the guy. 
How strong these foundations are, those those the field stone foundations, most of them are stronger than the foundation. Yeah. You want to see a structural problem? You'll see it in a new shot. You know? The rule of thumb is don't excavate under a 45 degree angle from the bottom of the foot. So don't go under. I've never bought a foot from the bottom of the foot. Yeah. 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 And you're not supposed to excavate. You know, hang up right down. Yeah. 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 right down the bottom. That's how I do it. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Brutally honest. We left it in your, uh, <laughs> in your description.